I thought I'd show you about one of the problems I've been having in my aquaponic system. If you look at the tomatoes here, they were planted at the exact same time as these ones over here. And these ones have got massively bigger. This bed's a flood and drain type, so it's got a siphon in it that fills it up and drains it all the time. Whereas this one's a constant flood. And the water drains from this one, into this one, into that one, and into those two at the end. So originally, this was a pipe that I was using to flow the water from each bed to the other. And I discovered very quickly that it wasn't big enough for the job. The beds would overflow before they'd get anywhere close to actually pushing a whole lot of water through. So, I thought it'd be better to upgrade it to something a little bit bigger. So, I put in these guys, far bigger, and they go from bed to the bed to the other beds at the end. And you can see there's noticeably more water actually going through these now. Because before this amount of water was going through it, it would just be overflowing absolutely everywhere and it didn't work. So that's the sort of flow that I can get through it now. And you can see from here, at the end of the row, there's just about as much water going in. And that one goes through to here. And coming out here. And a good thing about it, this siphon here would never ever kick off. I'll see if I can put it in there so you can see. But that would never ever ever kick off. And now it's working reliably and working fantastically. Which I am really happy about. As is this one. I was paranoid I'd have to do a whole lot of fine tuning and fiddling with it and mucking with it. And that sounded like a nightmare but it just worked straight out of the box which I'm very very happy with. The thing that I should note, 90mm uni seals are an absolute bitch. I hate them with an absolute passion. You think, where is it? You think they'd be able to go on easily, but no, they do not. They are absolutely painful, and I hate them with a passion. But I took a little video when I was getting it in, so I'll post that right after this bit. I did manage to get it on, but I managed to really hurt my thumb when I did it. But that was my own stupid fault. So, but yeah, this is how I got them through. But you can see, I did get it working. Have to note, if the uni seal is too thick, it won't actually be able to create a seal around it if it doesn't have the edge to get out. I had a whole lot of uni seals that kept on popping out from that, so I had to sand down the edges of it all the way around there for it to get a good seal and that bit to actually pop off. So that'll stop the uni seal from popping back in like it's done to me half a dozen times. So moral of the story, if you're designing a gravity feed, do not use 40mm pipe use 90mm pipe. Thanks for watching.